flying soldier of French army. During the opening ceremony of the French Bastille Day military parade on July 14, 2019, in Paris, the French defense industry has performed a live demonstration with a flying soldier using the Zaparta flyboard. According to the French army, special forces carried out trial tests with this new type of equipment. At the military parade of French Bastille Day 2019, the Zaparta flyboard has demonstrated its capacity to be used by soldier armed with an individual weapon as an assault rifle, with a flying demonstration at the front of the presidential tribune. The flyboard could be the future of modern armed forces to create flying soldier. European leaders including French President Emmanuel Macron were treated to a demonstration of the flyboard air, a sort of gas turbine powered flying platform originally invented by jet ski champ Frankie Zapata, during Bastille Day festivities in Paris on Sunday. Zapata carried what certainly appeared to be an unloaded rifle, or a replica of such as he flew over French military forces parading down the Avenue des Champs-Élysées with the flags of the European Intervention Initiative, a strategic coordination pact between ten countries. In a clip posted by France, Macron somehow manages to appear completely nonchalant about this whole thing. According to France, Zapart who appears to have carried the rifle in part due to interest in the flyboard's potential military applications. French Armed Forces Minister Florence Parly told France Enter Radio that the device can allow tests for different kinds of uses, for example as a flying logistical platform or, indeed, as an assault platform, according to the news network. Zapata also said in 2017 that he was working with the U.S. military on the device for combat applications. There are long-standing and well-known engineering issues that have prevented conventional jetpacks from becoming more than sideshow novelties that also happen to be extremely expensive to operate, with rare exceptions. Those include the large amount of energy necessary to sustain flight the difficulty of controlling the craft, and the obvious safety issues inherent in strapping a powerful jet engine to someone's back. A September 2018 look at Zapata's work with the U.S. military in the drive noted his variant, which is a flying platform, had solved some of those issues by introducing seven computer-controlled jet turbines that send flight data to a tablet-sized display as well as built-in redundancies and automatic compensation if one of the jet engines fails. Zapato advertises a custom-tooled version called the Flyers as ideal for military purposes ranging from naval personnel transfers and routine ground patrols to actual combat insertions and denied area penetration. According to the drive, the craft can carry up to 280 pounds, fly at 80 miles per hour for up to 12 minutes, and attain altitudes of 9,000 feet though not necessarily at the maximum load. However, the drive noted that it would still be extremely expensive to equip troops with the system, with a prospective price of $250,000 apiece, and doesn't solve other issues that came up in prior military inquiries into jetpacks. Those include noise that would disrupt stealth operations, leaving the operator entirely exposed to enemy fire with limited at best options for retaliation, and the fact that helicopters can already transport troops and materiel en masse at much longer ranges and durations. That doesn't rule out their use in all scenarios but it does remain to be seen whether the flyboard will ever be broadly adopted by armed forces. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.